Singapore will invest $16 million to advance synchrotron research and develop talent. It's part of a national strategy to deepen knowledge in this area. And if you're wondering what synchrotrons are, well, they're machines that use electrons to produce beams of light. Scientists use this light to study the composition of different materials to come up with solutions which benefit society. A five-year deal was also signed between the National University of Singapore and the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization. It allows Singapore scientists to go on research attachments. They're also given preferred access to the Australian synchrotron facilities in Melbourne. There they can carry out more in-depth studies into bio-based materials such as human tissue and plant cells. Singapore's current facilities are unable to support the increased demand for higher energy and light sources. The National Research Foundation also hopes to work with more international labs to expand its research in this growing field. Many of our scientists are already using the Australian one. Uh, you know, its proximity and its, 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 the energy levels there are very much catered to our use. Perhaps after Australia, well, there are more than 60 synchrotrons worldwide. Uh, if there's a great demand, we are happy to work with every other country to expand the international access program.